Hey everyone, so today we're going to conduct a little musical experiment here dealing with music theory and a random number generator. You may be wondering, how in the world are we going to randomize musical composition? Well, it's actually more simple than you think. There are only 12 notes in an octave, as you can see here, and we can use good old RNG to choose our key. Remember that a key signature is a note followed by whether it's major or minor. The note in the key signature means that the signature is based around that one key. To use RNG to determine that, we basically have two numbers. One is major, two is minor. And then to determine whatever key we actually want to use, we go from 1, which is A, all the way down to 12, which is G sharp. And now for the chord progression, I will make this explanation as brief as possible because we can actually, like, if I go in depth with this, we'd probably be here for quite a while. So I'm just gonna try to be like straight to the point and very brief and we will touch more upon this once we get to the actual composition part. So there are three main rules to go by when choosing the next chord in a chord progression, which again, like I said, will make sense once we go into the piano roll and actually compose. It'll, I'll be able to show you and then that'll be better for you to understand. So for progression, which is stronger chord movement, meaning you can do this very often, you either go up a third, up a fifth, or down a second. So when we are going in retrogression, which means they are weaker chord movements, which can still be done, just not too often according to music theory rules, you either go down a third, down a fifth, or up a second. So we're going to assign each rule to numbers 1 through 6, because there are 6 rules, and each number will alternate between progression and retrogression to make it interesting. So 1 is up a third, 2 is down a third, 3 is up a fifth, 4 is down a fifth, 5 is down a second, and 6 is up a second. So basically we're going to keep choosing chords with RNG until we're happy with however bars we want. I mean, just to keep it simple for this example, I will just make it a 4 bar um, chord progression, and that's basically it. The basis of the song is created and we can build from it. The first thing we're going to RNG is whether or not it's major or minor. So basically what we're going to do is click generate for the number. I'm going to do that right in front of you guys so it won't look like I'm cheating even though I really want to compose in minor. So two is minor, one is major. Fuck. Okay, so the next thing is we're going to generate a number from one to 12. So that's going to be A sharp major. Let's do it. So here's our scale. We're going to start with a one chord. So it's just going to be um, one, three, five. There you go. And then we're going to just... One okay, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick maybe three more chords just to make it simple. And we'll do that by generating a number from one to six. So one to six. Here we go. So the next chord is going to be four, which is down a fifth. So here's how this is going to work. So what is a fifth down from A sharp? It's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So a bit of a slight issue. When I said I was going to go down a fifth, I accidentally went up a fifth instead. I guess at the time that I was recording this, I thought going down an octave would still mean that you're going down a fifth. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, to be honest with you. But I'm just letting you guys know that this particular part of the video is actually wrong. But um, regardless, we're just going to continue anyway because I don't, I really, really don't want to do another take of this because I, I've worked on this for too long for me to just start over again. So we're just going to continue and roll with the mistake. And thankfully, it still follows music theory rules. So it's not too big of a mistake, but it's still a mistake nonetheless. Right? So now, whether or not it's going to be major or minor, that's also dependent on another thing here. Chord 1 is always a major in major. Chord 2 is going to be a minor. You can tell by the uppercase and the lowercase. Lowercase meaning minor, uppercase meaning major. So chord 5 is going to be another major. Alright, so now um, our next number for the RNG is going to be... Hello? There we go, 3. And that's going to be up a fifth from this. So what's up a fifth from F? It's going to be a C. C is a two chord in A sharp major. So we're going to pull up our little guide again. And that's going to be C minor. Okay, so C minor. This is going to be a minor chord. Now, what is the next chord going to be? Let's, let's see. Let's see what it is. Six, which is up a second. 
Oh, I don't know how I feel about that, actually. But we'll give it a shot. So, up a second from C. That's gonna be... Da. And that's gonna be a third in the scale. So a third in the scale is going to be minor, which is D minor. So D minor, we're good. So this is basically the chord progression. We could totally do UK Hardcore. This is gonna be Happy Hardcore. Th that makes sense. Let's turn it up to 170, and we're gonna grab a big ass kick. So that's basically the idea of musical RNG. I apologize for the mix sounding very disgusting. It's just, um, when I mix something, I take a lot more time, you know, I put a lot more time into it, and, you know, it takes me days, maybe even weeks to get the mix fine enough to upload. But obviously this isn't the case because I just drop down a bunch of instruments for 25-ish minutes, and so yeah, it's not gonna sound the best, and I apologize for that, but either way, um, the whole idea was behind the composition aspect. So basically, if, you, if you're very indecisive like myself, this could be a good help for you. I mean, as long as you know how to fit certain melodies into certain chord progressions and keys, you should be golden. I was basically able to pull this melody out of my ass, and that was mostly because I had the chord progression to build up from. And I know a lot of people actually say, you know, in music theory, a lot of people say that you create the melody first, and then you create the chord progression under it. But for some reason, I work backwards in that regard. Regardless, I say regard a lot. Is there a regard counter for this video? I'm sorry. But anyway, that was basically some weird experiments, and I might do more of these in the future if you guys found this interesting. So just let me know in the comments or something like that. They're fun, and you know, I could use the knowledge that I've gained from going to college in the music field and put it to good use. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want more of these kinds of things. All right, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Can this lawnmower shut the f